Happening now, concern over a new bullying ordinance that comes with a hefty fine for parents. This has Shano's police chief speaking out to school district leaders tonight. Now, the ordinance is meant for anyone 18 and under, and it prohibits bullying and harassment of any kind, including cyberbullying, within Shano city limits. NBC 26's Billy Wagnus was at tonight's meeting, and he joins us in Shano with the very latest. Tonight for both Shano police and the school board, it's all about clearing up misconceptions surrounding the bullying ordinance. Some parents fearing they'd be getting a ticket and wouldn't be able to afford the fine. But Shano's police chief ensuring people tonight that the last thing they want to do is find someone. Since word spread of the ordinance is passing, some parents say they're afraid of being gouged by new anti-bullying fines. That couldn't be further from the truth. What we really are looking for is a collaboration. A collaboration, says Chief Mark Cole, between police and parents. If they make an effort, that's good enough for us. We will not give them a ticket. We can't ticket our way out of this. After tonight, Cole says he wants to be clear on who they're targeting. It's going to be the type of bully that is a vulgar, intending to hurt. And where police are setting their sights. And we also are aware that not all bullying takes place here on school grounds. I mean, the cyberbullying, for example. Superintendent Gary Cumberland admits with a bullying policy already in place for the school district, he was confused at first. What I initially thought is, what's going on? But I hadn't had a chance to talk with the chief yet. Now he says he sees a real opportunity for collaboration. But hearing it from another source sometimes is a really good thing. In the effort to stamp out bullying. Now while a fine can hit you where it hurts, some have suggested that the financial penalty of the ordinance be swapped with a service like counseling that a parent would have to enroll their child in. Reporting in Shano, keeping you connected, Billy Wagness, NBC 26. Now, the ordinance states parents will have 90 days to intervene after being first notified about their child. If they don't, they could be fined $366. If there is a second offense within one year, they will be fined $681.